After my grandmother taught me this recipe, I make it every day. Let's start the recipe by adding 500g of sour starch and a teaspoon of salt too. Now let's mix it up a bit. After that, I will add a mixture of 200 milliliters of water with 200 milliliters of boiled oil. I'll have to add this mixture little by little and mix to make sure all the ingredients are integrated. Don't forget to tell me which city or country you're watching from so I can send you a big hug in the next video. After mixing, I will continue the recipe in another container. I will add 200 milliliters of milk. and 4 eggs too. And we're going to mix it well until it looks the way I'm going to show you. Also, don't forget to rate this recipe from 0 to 10 to let me know if you liked it too. After that, I will add the two mixtures little by little. Let's add some of the other mix, and mix it in as you go. Doing this is very important to make sure the recipe works out in the end. Tell me if you already knew this recipe, and if you're going to make it at your house too. This is an old recipe, that when I make it here at home, everyone asks me to make more. I'm sure when you do it at home, you'll want to do it every day too. After mixing well, I'm going to put the whole mixture inside a plastic bag like this. Then just close the plastic bag by making a knot at the end, and also cutting the other end with scissors. Here we are going to use a greased form with oil, and soon after, squeeze the plastic bag like this. Here I am doing it the recommended way, but you can also do it the way you like. If you haven't eaten a recipe similar to this yet, I recommend making it at home, it's incredibly delicious. Now let's put it in the oven to bake at 180 degrees for 15 minutes. And our recipe is ready. Tell me if you're going to do it at your house, I'm sure your family will love it too. Thanks for watching this far, until next time.